Video released on Tuesday purports to show British Challenger 2 main battle tanks on the ground in Ukraine for the first time. This footage from Ukrainian Defense Minister Alexei Reznikov shared on social media includes the cabinet official thanking the United Kingdom. Thank you very much from Ukraine to the United Kingdom. But these tanks will have to do more than trend on Twitter. Ukraine has begged and pleaded for months for advanced weaponry ahead of what is an expected counteroffensive against invading Russian forces occupying swaths of territory in the country's east. The U.S. and NATO have promised tanks and artillery in hopes that Ukraine can repeat some of the successes it saw last year in repelling Russian attacks and retaking Russian-held regions. But that offensive has yet to take shape. Kiev and Moscow have spent months locked in bitter combat over the now shattered eastern city of Bakhmut, a battle both sides have described as a meat grinder where the front line has barely moved. A Moscow-installed leader in eastern Ukraine on Tuesday said Russian forces were making gains in Bakhmut. But in a video released on Telegram, Ukrainian commander Alexander Sirsky said his forces were inflicting heavy losses on Russian attackers in an effort to exhaust the invaders. Heavy fighting has also moved to the town of Avdivka, a bit to the south, where British intelligence said a Russian tank division had suffered heavy losses. Video released by Ukrainian police purported to show officers working to evacuate civilians as the front line inched closer. But residents in nearby Semenivka told Reuters they had no plans to leave. 56-year-old Elena, who did not give a surname, said there is no place to leave for. Where should we go? And how can I leave my home? That's why we're staying here. This 71-year-old said, Our army is holding up, and so are we. We have hope. We have hope, and we hope the situation will calm down. Both sides are signaling their readiness for even more brutal combat ahead. Moscow on Tuesday released footage of Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu inspecting arms factories, showing munitions being readied for the front. Russia and Ukraine are both reportedly expending artillery shells at a rate not seen since the Second World War. France's defense minister on Tuesday said it would double its supply of 155 millimeter shells to Ukraine to about 2,000 per month. As expectations of a new offensive build, these Ukrainian recruits this week practiced firing rifles and rocket-propelled grenades <laughs> under the eye of a Swedish instructor, Magnus Ek. I train both new soldiers that are mobilized. They just got a uniform and a gun. We start from day one. And also experienced units. It can be a mission-related uh, training for some fighters that are pulled out. They need to train on something, and then they go back to the front line and do that. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Tuesday used the one-year anniversary of what he called the decisive battles to recapture territory here in the Sumy region from Russian forces to rally his countrymen for the expected springtime counterattack. He noted the Russian border sat quite close, a border he said no tyrant will ever manage to erase. Ukrainian fighters here pushed back Russian attackers a year ago in an early victory for Kiev following Moscow's invasion. It remains to be seen whether an influx of Western tanks, shells, and training will mean Ukraine's armed forces can do that again. Nuclear, tactical nuclear weapon to uh, Belarus. But Unless something happens on the helicopter. Are you concerned about that? Yeah, what do you make of what? what do you make of Putin's announcement that he would send those nuclear weapons to Belarus? What I've been talking to you guys about for the last year. This is dangerous kind of talk to you. And it's worse. When you want to defend Do you think Trump should indict it? Uh, this year, for the first time, we're incorporating a number of new elements, including operating uh, with 18 different nations on a live uh, mission-partnered communications environment. 
We're operating simultaneously here in uh, Grafenwehr, Germany. Also, the uh, mission that you just witnessed occurred simultaneously up in uh, Oxbow, Denmark, and down in Romania, a training area there as well. All done via distributed communications simultaneously uh, across the theater from the Baltic all the way to the Black Sea. Our alliance consists of 30 nations, and with the, the hopeful ratification of the membership of Sweden and Finland, it will be 32. It's important that all of our nations are able to operate together and seamlessly, and we rehearse and practice things in peacetime so that if we ever have to work together in combat, that we'll be able to do so without having to learn on the fly. Officers, which are a part and embedded into that Polish group of National Brigade staff, down to how we were trained in field artillery, and then putting field, field artillery subject matter experts at the points of button because FEC they'll send where it needs to point. So I sit up there. You have oh, loader will send it on. I'll say yeah. Okay. You have to load on your own. Yeah. Oh thank you. Thank you. California.